Fire Lake and we're hooking up to go. Local Cora just found in the car again. This is a different one. It's still alive. Cora bit it. Oh, poor thing. Uh uh, stop poking it. I think it fell from the bag. Oh my gosh. Boy, at least. Like, I was reversing Cora kept on uh, checking the bag. Good girl, you're a good mouser. Come here. She does not want to leave it. She's just gonna babysit it. It looks like a white footed mouse. Sheesh, it's been over a month. Cora accidentally ran a different one over. <laughs> So we're back home in Minnesota and we still have a mouse with us. We leave our folding chairs outside when we're not using them and they were in their cases so of course we have to bring those cases inside when we move. Now Cora was smelling a chair too. <laughs> we saw like a whole big fluff of dandelion seeds so we we're wondering if there was a mouse living in there and turns out that there is a mouse in the RV now since we brought the chairs in here. I actually did see the mouse. <laughs> like we made eye contact in the middle of the night. It's been bothering us for the past few nights and I was hearing it chew something this morning. I am very, very sad. Anyway, let me show you guys. Look at that. Anyway, it's time to deep clean. There's mouse poop on the stove. I know it's kind of gross. I heard it running across the Toner last night. Cora's been obsessing over the RV too now. Digging underneath everywhere, pulling everything out. We hear them under the bed. Hear it? Hopefully it's just one. We're gonna start cleaning the RV now completely. Got everything out and sanitized. We were planning on doing this already anyway because we needed to re-evaluate everything in here, so. Stinky. The mouse probably didn't want to come in here. I chose the wrong RV. <laughs> oh, there it is. What? Where? To the heater. making this stuff up guys. Ew, it was like pooping in the buddy heater. Obviously not planned guys. We're gonna show you the seat <laughs> for the mantis in the back here. Alright, you want some gloves and take it off? I'm like just gonna grab it. It can bite me. What? Do you have gloves? Do you think those vinyl gloves are gonna help? It's mouse proof. It says it right here. Uh-huh. The mouse is gonna come back out. It came to look at me again. You can't live in here. We ain't got the right type of food for you. <laughs> you can't eat my coffee. <gasps> there it is. It keeps coming back. FYI, guys, there's no food back here. It's just storage. Yeah. Bro, don't you miss your family? Juan. Oh. Actually, we probably killed his family. It keeps coming out to look at me. Oh my gosh. You mousey mouse. Hey, show them how we keep our clothes. All right, so Chua and I limited ourselves to two of these. Two of these IKEA. Soft bins, I guess you can say. I think they're supposed to be like under bed storage. Yeah, so we've got two of them, one for each of us. And we did a decent job. The next time we're gonna limit even more. 
We have a lot of layers outside of these bins too. Honestly, we didn't even really wear all of them. Probably only have. This is how much storage you have underneath the mantis bed part slash seating area. For example, to give you guys an idea. 5'2 <laughs> <two> man. 5'3 <laughs> and a half. Okay, 5'3 and a half. What a lie. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this could be my bed. I'm not gonna touch it. Why not? It can bite me. There, I'll give you two. It can still bite me through these. You guys hear him? He's trying to make me touch this mouth. Okay, it's probably gonna move. Let's move this bag. Can I just move the buddy heater first? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it pooped in it though. It's okay. Oh, nasty. It's burning out. What a nice spot though. Ugh. Nice spot, mouse. Hey. Nice spot. I don't see it. Put it in this bag. <laughs> you guys. Oh my god. What? Look what I brought into there. What? <laughs> There's two pieces of dog food. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. oh, what a smart mouse. That mouse. <laughs> actually stole two pieces of food from me. It's so babies. funny. I don't know if it's in the bag though. Oh my gosh, it was chewing my candles too. Are you in here, Mouse? Cause... You do your famous hello. Hello? Hello? I don't know if it's in here. Okay. This is... I mean, I don't know if it will come because we're right here, but... I guess I don't know. Could be hungry. It's eating dog food. Find that bag. Probably. Come on, you mouser. Okay, over here. Oh, it's under there. Smell it. Where'd it go? What's going on? I just pulled this out. Of course, it would make a mess in here. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> and then look. A little pea pile. Here's our mess of an awning room right now. Threw everything in here. And Cora knows the mess of in here somewhere. It's trapped in here. This is day two of cleaning and I heard Cora making a big ruckus. We thought the mouse might have left. <laughs> I started scratching at this bin, thought there was no way the mouse could get in there, but I just saw it crawling. <laughs> She's going insane. <laughs> Alright, let's move this stuff. Okay, move. Core move. Hey, how did it get trapped in there? Oh, the wood wasn't on completely. And there's steel wool in there, too. Look at that. Okay, this box has steel wool in it and essential oils. Why did it pick this box to go inside? Good job, Cora. You found it. We got it left. Looks like a spider got busy overnight. It's beautiful. Well, it's gonna be taken down. Sorry. Man, I can't believe how much stuff we have in the army. I know. You gotta really. Look at all this. Just on. And on. And on. Finally down. This is insane. 
knowing that we were hauling this much stuff around in that tiny little camper. Crazy. Gonna try to release the mouse. I think it's still in here. So let's take a look. Definitely poop in here. Hot went through all my stuff. Mouse poop. Where is it? Well, said it escaped. It's one thing hot, one at a time. Hey. Alright, actually, take the. Take what? That out. The yeah? olive oil, yeah. But I don't take all this poopy out. Sorry, suffocated. Yep. Okay, well at least we don't have to kill it now. <laughs> or the plane dead. Corey, you scared it to death. 